Welcome to the Sultana Brand Hockey One Round Two Wrap Up Show. Liam Ellison here alongside me is Kin Smith. It's been another electric round of Hockey One in the books. We'll have a look at some of the scores and highlights on your screens right now. Let's start with the men's, the Brisbane Canberra match on the Thursday night. It was 3 1 to the Blaze. Jake Wetton, the return to the Brisbane Blaze and his combination with his Kookaburras teammate, Tim Howard, was sensational. He was the foundation upon which they built that. But the Canberra Chill, not without the ability to score. And we saw a beautiful goal from Staines there. The Brisbane Blaze 2-0 and, and just keep on keeping on. Well, the Melbourne Sports Center it might have been the match of the round. Perth prevailed 8-5 in a shootout. It was the arrival of Liam Flynn and he gave the Thundersticks in his partnership with Tom Wickham the forward power that they needed to blast past Hockey Club Melbourne who now find themselves 2-0 on the flip side. Perth Thundersticks 2-0 and looking like one of the teams to beat. It was a fantastic performance from the Thundersticks and to wrap it up in Adelaide at Mate Stadium, it was the Tassie Tigers who prevailed 5-zip. Come back to 1-1 one and one after their loss to the Blaze last week. They now have the buyer to look back on the last two games. A dominant clinical performance capped off by a captain's night from Josh Belts. Dominant indeed. Stephen McMullen will be very pleased with that one. Let's have a look at the women's slate now. Brisbane prevailed 4-2 against Canberra. It was a great game by the Canberra Chill and a 4-2 victory. Shahori Okawa, the season one MVP, and her combinations with the Door sisters and the Evans sisters, something to behold. A great arrival to season two by the Canberra Chill. And it was a clean sweep for Perth on Friday night, two zip over Hockey Club Melbourne. This was another one where uh, Georgia Wilson showed her class and teamed up with one of my early MVP candidates, Lene Milan, for one of the goals of the season as well. Perth as well, 2-0. And set up really well for the rest of the season. A similar scoreline Saturday night. The Adelaide Fire with their first win of the season. It was a great performance as well. Gabby Nance uh, was one of the key movers for mine. And seems to be really enjoying her hockey. And uh, a great performance in front of their home fans by the Adelaide Fire. Tassie gave it their all. And they have the bye next week. Adelaide will be happy. Jason Butcher as well. Let's look at the round three schedule. Canberra with their first home game of the season Thursday night at the National Hockey Centre against Hockey Club Melbourne live on Fox Sports. Friday night we go back to Mate Stadium. The Fire will host the New South Wales Pride and then Saturday the Perth Thunder Sticks wrap it up against the Brisbane Blaze. This is going to be an awesome night of hockey live on KO Sports, Kin. A brilliant round three. So many games to look forward to. Can't wait. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for joining us on the wrap-up show. Round two in the books. See you next time.